welcome this is the final set for the net paper 3 uh, july 2016 now few points to note before we start for this paper the complete two and three paper for geography were very very direct most of the questions were based on rote learning and uh, i believe more than 90 percent of the questions were covered from the exam based postal course in this section so if you are uh, thorough with the postal course i don't believe there should be a uh, lot mo more than one or two questions that you would face doubts in. Now the first question here is Polar Geopolitics is a book written by Powell and Dots. So the correct answer is A. Next question. Social processes explain the spatial organization that is given in the concept of Marxism. We have already talked about Marxism in one of the lectures. So you can refer that for more details. Next. What you have to do here is to mash the work with the author. So you have Hegelstern who worked on the dissemination of or diffusion of innovation as we know. William Bunch is known for his theoretical geography, the concepts of his theoretical geography. Walter Rizard is known as the father of regional science, so he is known for the methods of regional analysis. And finally, Gilbert gave the concept of a human response to floods. So you have Gilbert as human response to floods. Next question. You have the assertion and reason. Now, the social indicator movement was quickly developed in the United States in 1960 because it was in response to the social problems in the US society. Uh, so, both the assertion and reason are correct here and reason correctly explains the assertion. Next question. Which of the following five-year plan was adopted by Harold Domer growth model? So, the correct answer is first five-year plan adopted the Harold Domer growth model uh, concept for the planning purposes. Next question. Uh, the sectors of rich and poor were demarcated in the crystallized model by Losh. So if you go back on to the, uh, the details in the book where you have the Losh and Crystalla, you will clearly understand the sectors and its demarcation. Next question. Which of the following indicator is not concerned with human growth, uh, human development index or HDI? So when we talk about HDI, you have three indicators that we consider. First is the life expectancy at birth, the educational attainment or the educational index and finally the standard of living. So the only incorrect answer here is B. There are regional disparities in the spatial organization of economy. That's correct. For every economy, you have regional disparities that exist and interaction among inherent factors in economic activities affect the texture of spatial organization also explains this correctly so i can say both assertion and reason are correct and reason explains the assertion directly so it's a kind of very direct question again next you have the various problem the various regions of development and their definitions so what you have to do is to match the reason region with the correct definition so you have problem regions problem regions are the regions which show little promise for development in the near future. So those are considered as problem areas. Then you have the major areas. Major areas are the region where you have minimum disparities within the region and uh, in respect to the regional characteristics as well. So major regions will go with the minimum disparities. Then you have prospective and dynamic region. So dynamic region support the advanced industrial areas and the urban population and finally the prospect prospective regions are the regions which have potentials for uh, future growth. So these would be the correct match for the regions and their definitions. Now you have to match the towns with the type of the towns. Now some of these are very direct. Bombay, Calcutta and Madras are known as port towns. So you have port towns with Bombay, Calcutta and Madras. Agra, Jaipur and Madurai are the historical cities of India. Then you have Singbambam, Konjanur and Reva are the mineral towns. And finally, Bilai, Raulgela and Jamshedpur are the industrial towns. So these would go with the industrial towns. So these are the correct match for the question. Next. Metropolitan. Now this question is a bit ambiguous because it's not clearly mentioned in the assertion and reason. Uh, the first statement says that the metropolitan city is flanked by small satellite towns or I could say satellite towns are around. Now this is developed because in order to release the pressure from the main city that is correct if this is the meaning. So if it is these towns 
have a function of releasing the pressure of the city that is correct however if we go on to the reason independently we will understand that towns cities metropolitans and satellite all four are different concepts so most probably the examiner here is explaining that these towns have a function of releasing the pressure of the city so if that is what he is trying to ask in the question we have assertion and reason as correct and reason as the correct explanation for assertion next question makrana marbles which were the basis for the taj mahal in india are from the makrana mines in nagore in rajasthan so the correct answer is rajasthan next question environmental protection act was released in 1986 under the article 253 of the constitution and this was during the rajiv gandhi's government so the correct answer would be rajiv gandhi next which of the following sequence of physical features is correct first of all if we go to the map of india you have the indo ganga plains then you have the tarai area the bhabar area and found, finally the himalayan mountain range so plain tarai bhabar and mountains would be the correct order next you have to match the tribes with the uh, states so you have bhutia tribe that is commonly found in uttar pradesh then you have the karbi tribe that is found in assam so you have karbi and bhutia that's gone then you have baiga and rangapa tribe now the baiga tribe is found in madhya pradesh and rangapa tribe is found in sikkim so these are the common tribes and in the respective states so if you go to the go through the postal codes thoroughly you will have the complete list and you can simply memorize those now which of the following hills are located in which area again if you are familiar about the map nicely you can say babubudan hills are located in karnataka then you have khasi hills in meghalaya you have merik hills in assam and finally amarkantak in madhya pradesh so these would be the correct matches next if you know the which river flows on which region you can again answer this question correctly so you have ganga that flows through kanpur so with ganga you have kanpur then mahanadi flows through odisha so you have kattak as the correct answer here vijayawada is located on krishna river and brahmaputra flows through tezpur in assam so these would be the correct matches for this question next you have the satellite center uh, satellite sensors and the uh, the uh, instantaneous field of view for pan imageries so for irs 1c it is 5.8 meters for adios avnir you have 8 meters for quick bird you have 0.6 as pan and if it was ms it would be 2.5 and finally for a spot 5 you have 5 meters of resolution so these are the correct matches for this question again now next question you have the values of rainfall given and the number of days so what you are asked to calculate is the mean value so 10 and 15 the mean is 5, uh, 10 to 20 15 then you have 25 and 35 so what you have to simply do here is calculate the rainfall and the number of days so it would be 15 into 6 plus 25 into 20 plus 35 into 4 divided by total number of days that is 6 plus 20 plus 4 and that would be 730 by 30 and that would give you 24.33 as the correct answer next which one of the following diagram can be used to represent non spatial attribute data now spatial is something that can be located on a space so i can say what can be represented on map in simple terms would be spatial so you have isolines that you can represent on the map so places joining equal values would be isolines then i can shade the region with dark less dark and further less dark and so on so those would be chloroplathing again done on map flow lines are the communication patterns or the transport patterns from say um, india to maldives then you have india to Uh, nikobar or uh, lakshadweep so you have more thick line here so that denotes the 
flow line patterns. However, bars and cubes does not necessarily require a map. You can display information on bars and cubes even without a map. So, bars and cubes can be used for non-spatial attribute data as well. Next. Now, this is a question that is again incorrect. It shouldn't be mismatched, rather it should be matched. So, if I say which of the following is correctly matched, I say no correlation with r is equal to 0. Now, correlation ranges from minus 1 to plus 1. Plus 1, I can say is the perfect correlation, perfect positive correlation and minus 1 is the perfect negative correlation. So, you have perfect positive r plus minus 1 is incorrect, it should be plus 1. Now, minus 1 is not imperfect, it is perfect negative and then you have positive significance. So, all the values beyond 0.5 would be positive significant, but it should be mentioned as 0.5-1. It, it cannot be less than 1, it does not imply any uh, practical sense. Okay? So, this is not a good convention to write the uh, correlation problems. So, the correct on answer which is correctly matched is correlation. So, this should again be a bonus question. Next, partial correlation is a method of dealing with three or more variables. It's three. So, it's three or more variables and basically it's a correlation between two variables holding the third one or we are talking about three variables where we are finding the relationship between two and holding one as it is. So, reason explains the assertion correctly. So, I can say both are correct and reason explains the assertion. Next question. Now, this is on the disadvantages of Lorentz curve. One of the basic disadvantages are that there are data restrictions since the variables are expressed as frequency and negative values cannot be included and it is difficult to apply to the study of continuous variables. So, both of these are correct. Next question. You have representative fraction that is written as 1 is to 25,000 statement problems that are represented as 1 inch to 1 mile. Simple linear scale is this and then you have a comparative scale where you have miles and kilometers both values given. So, if you are doing your practicals nicely even in your bachelors you can answer this question a very direct question. Which of the following codes give your, gives the abbreviation correctly depicting the landscape model? Now, out of these you have DEM that is the digital elevation model and DTM that is the digital terrain model and both of these explain the landscape. So, the answer should be A and D that is C. So, with this we cover the uh, final set of geography papers we have uh, discussed finally both the paper 2 and 3. If you have any doubts or any questions regarding the paper that we have discussed you can leave those as comment below we will be more than happy to answer those. Have a good day ahead.